hello friends welcome back to my channel again in this video we are going to see how to set up a automated reporting in IBM Curadar if you are watching my channel very first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, any new videos that I will post in the future it will get notified as a Curadar. suggestion for you well what is IBM Curadar it's a sim tool what is sim security information uh, an even management tool so this is one of the enterprise sim tool which can help to set up your uh, offense rules meaning uh, if you wanted to set up any offense rules which can help to trigger an alert in a way it can be notified to your security team to take necessary steps as an uh, as a regular activity wait what is the offense offense is nothing but if if any uh, uh, traffic pattern that has abnormal in the activity it should be notified by the the security team who is managing the uh, uh, infrastructure and they supposed to be notified automatically so you might have uh, plenty of uh, human resources to monitor the system but uh, uh, at last not all the time we can able to perform the monitoring function at a very most effective manner so in that case uh, if i wanted to put it in very simple term offense rule is nothing but it's kind of a uh, re repeated scripting uh, that we are doing it on this tool so that whenever that scripting uh, what is it the workflow or flowchart has been matching for the traffic it will trigger an alert and send it to the respective team well okay let's uh, see how to do that uh, in an example <clears throat> on the log activity just uh, I'm clicking on the search putting a new search over here um, so you can if you are setting up a new time newly you can set up uh, from the beginning and you can name the uh, resource I mean uh, search type for your own purpose since I have set it up one already I'm going to take that for uh, example here so this is the one Azure firewall logs I have set it up this log for um, for my uh, Azure traffic for a specific application server whenever it triggers the traffic or whenever it receives the traffic I should uh, uh, collect that information and put it in into the reporting and send it to me for that reporting function all right so let's go ahead and see what I have put it over there clicking on the load so it is nothing bad I'm going to see what are the parameters I have set it up on this particular uh, uh, custom search search mode is uh, put it as a basic we don't need to go for advanced search uh, I want the um, it is purely up depends on your need only if I if you wanted to pull the uh, uh, reporting for real time last interval specific interval whatever you wanted to set it up you can set it up I want this report for last 24 hours and you can go up to seven days so this is the uh, um, best opportunity or best option which we have available in, in the curator or if you wanted to pull the report specific interval say for example uh, uh, the application server will be accessible only during the business time not on the uh, non-business hours in that case you can specify the intervals uh, meaning um, 9 a.m. Eastern time until uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time uh, only so which means that report will be pulled for that specific time frame only so if we go down below on the custom definition I have selected the necessary columns I wanted to see in the traffic pattern what is the event name source IP source port destination IP destination port protocol uh, which log source is collected event count so these are the default things it will come by own 
uh, if you want to collect more information in the available columns you can select it so I when I gone with the default columns which which is given by the tool itself and then search parameters this is where you will be able to uh, uh, granularly go and uh, put your uh, information what you are looking for so there are the there are two filters I have put in which is uh, if you look at here event name is Azure firewall network rule log so this has on its own event ID uh, how to fetch that if I put a quick filter with the event name whatever the event name I wanted to uh, uh, fetch it I can uh, go with it so event name in the browse factor since I know this uh, uh, event name I'm just uh, uh, searched over here uh, network Azure firewall network if you put uh, like that and uh, click a search you will get that uh, particular uh, log and double click you will get that uh, filter added into this custom filter similar way um, you I have put uh, the other option which is uh, source source or destination IP over here you just need to put uh, uh, any of equals any of means either this IP or this IP if you have more than one IP address you have option to put like this and click uh, plus mark it will start try to add all the IPs on this particular red traffic pattern all right so just to click on this when the uh, search wanted to uh, sorry the criteria wanted to save it that's it once you set it up this um, this will trigger email on, on the interval that it has been set it up on the system by default when it needs to trigger an email uh, once the email has been triggered you will get an email like this uh, I, so the like this over here you'll see the subject name as Azure firewall logs for the specific date and whatever the people we wanted to deliver this we can uh, deliver it and then uh, it has on its own uh, attachment with a CSV format so this is how um, the automated reporting can be set it up on the Kirodar so this is an one of the famous and uh, ultimate option available in Kirodar for us to get us notified for certain things we wanted to get it notified on regular basis all right I think uh, this video was useful for you if yes please don't forget to subscribe my channel for any new feature videos that I am going to put you'll, you'll be getting a uh, notification for you to get benefit for in the future all right thank you guys we'll catch up in the next time